Welcome back, part two. We're gonna continue our letter name design here and basically I'm gonna add a different one for each letter of my name that I'm doing. I'm doing my last name. Notice that when I start again, it automatically goes back to the last font, the last size I used. It can be helpful, it can be annoying, depending on your point of view and what you're trying to do. Um, I'm going to use the same fill and stroke. You can do different ones if you want to. And remember that I could also have done that by clicking on my last letter and it would have automatically applied it. See, automatically applied it. I'm going to drag this one down. And again, rotate it slightly. And yes, I have my. I have my tablet and I'm not using it and I probably should go get it because this is really <laughs> really annoying me trying to use the trackpad okay and then effect 3d extrude and bevel I don't want it going the same direction as the last one I do want it going a different one I am going to preview and then I'm going to right click this and do a range send it back so it's behind the other one. Notice that this color looks different. I promise you, I promise you it's not, okay? The reason that looks different is because of the lighting effect that's in here with the 3D effect that is putting on a slight lighting effect onto it as well. And so this, you know, this one is more towards the light this one's more away from the light so this one's more in shadow this one's more direct light and that's why they look different okay i'm going to continue on here so you don't listen to me yibber yabber all night uh, notice that i click too close to this one see how the line's angled it's adding it right back into that one it's saying hey let's add it right on top of this one no 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 i need to unclick that basically come down here and click somewhere else there we go that was the color picker again. Eyedropper. I call it the color picker. Eyedropper. Helps if I have the letter highlighted first, though, doesn't it? And then... Oh. No. Oh. No. Just being difficult. Just being difficult. Oh, you know what? You know what that did. Undo, 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 undo. Here we go. <laughs> Change my T to a V. Ah, it's time for bed. And I've still got a couple more of these to make. So, I didn't even notice that until I was like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, anyways. Okay, so click off of there, because we have it on the text tool. If you still have the text tool and try to extrude and bevel, it's not going to let you do it. you got to make sure you have the selection tool. Effect 3D extrude and bevel. Again, give it something a little bit different. Click on preview. Slide this over so I can see it. Click OK. Drag it. No, drag it up here. Okay, and then just continue on. Yes. Uh, eyedropper. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Gotta have it highlighted. Not gonna work if it's not highlighted. A dropper. Oh. And I can't, you can't use shortcuts when you have it highlighted. You know how many times do I have to make that mistake before it gets get it through my head? 
It's good for you to see. I mean, that's, yeah, it takes a while to. And effect. Oop, oh, nope, eyedropper. Then the selection tool. Then effect 3D extreme bevel. And yes, I'm doing these all the same color on purpose, and you'll see why in probably the next video. But I'll, by all means, by all means, make them different colors. Have fun with it. Right click, arrange, center back. Is my whistling coming through? Probably blowing directly out of the mic and is annoying you. I'm trying not to do that anymore. One of my bad habits. Eyedropper. View. Effect. 3D. Extrude and bevel. Okay. Drag it down here. Uh, and then the last one. Uh, S. I dropper. Select. Selection tool effect 3D extrude and bevel preview that'll work. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, now it goes off the bottom of my artboard. I'm gonna try to select everything here. Go. It's all on the artboard, barely, but it's on there. All right, so if you have a really long last name or, you know, whatever name you're doing is really, really long, then you probably want to make your letter smaller than 200 point, obviously. Um, if you're doing something, a short name, you can make your letters bigger. Okay, but do all your all your letters. Play with the, you know, the setting the back, bring it to front, so you have different overlapping letters. Notice that they kind of look like they're all big following stack. That are, none of them are going the same direction. They're all kind of going separate different directions for the extrude and bevel. These two are probably too close to the same. But for what we're doing right now, I'm going to leave it as is and call it good.